what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Question. What year is it? Oh, 2023? That's what I thought. But an incident went down in New York that was reminiscent of the 1960s when black folks were getting water hosed by the police. Family, we got a white neighbor who disrupted his black neighbor's dinner party and used a backyard hose to end their gathering. The September 2022 incident happened at an intimate get together hosted by Dr. Eve Duraso, the first physician to get the COVID-19 jab in the US at his residence in Queens, New York, according to the lawsuit obtained by Atlanta Black Star. 15 people were in attendance, mostly black and Latino, who worked in high profile positions in their respective fields. Check this out, family. As dinner was wrapping up, an unidentified woman and an aggressive German shepherd appeared in the foyer just before 10 p.m. Y'all didn't hear me. I say it. As dinner was wrapping up, an unidentified woman and an aggressive German shepherd appeared in the foyer just before 10 p.m. The doc told the woman that they were about to end and to exit his property, to exit his home. Get out! The doc returns to his backyard. And that's when Marcus Rosebrock, the defendant, turned on his water hose, his powerful water hose, and started spraying the doctor and one of his friends who were in a tree house. According to the lawsuit, they had feared for their lives because they thought they were going to get knocked to the ground. They politely asked him to stop, and he wouldn't stop. I wonder why he wouldn't stop. Woo! Okay, fam. They say he violently drenched them uh, with water, drenched their face and body with water, putting them in fear of serious bodily harm. According to the allegations, Rose Brock continued to do this to other guests when they tried to speak to him. And he also did the same thing to the catering staff who was working at the house. Okay, so what are they asking for? They're seeking monetary damages for the emotional injury Rose Brock calls to them, per the report. The lawsuit also states that the good doctor and his family don't feel safe in the house anymore. They don't feel safe giving events, putting on events. The Durasos feel like hostages in their own home. Good thing is the Durasos and not the Dennis's because this would be an entire different story. I ain't playing no games. Ain't nobody running me off. Ain't nobody bullying me. Family, if they can do it to the good doctor, upstanding individual, you know, a guy who 
did all of the right things. You know how they talk about doing the right thing. Just hell, you know, just just work hard and and be a good citizen and just try and don't cause any trouble. And you too can have the American dream, and we'll respect you. You know, the only reason why we don't respect you because you guys just don't work. You know, you just you're all just a bunch of thugs, and you just won't. You just you're just lazy. You won't work. This is a reminder that it doesn't matter how educated you are, what your profession is, how much money you got, how much of a law-abiding person you are. It doesn't matter if you're a God-fearing person. It doesn't matter how good you are as a human being. There are people out there who are going to hate you anyway. This is why you should not care about impressing them damn pleasing them ride on their asses that's right i said it ride on them they ain't gonna respect nothing else i wouldn't even try to impress them i'm gonna live my life i'm gonna do me i'm gonna do my thing and if you get in my way it's gonna be some problems and i bet you i i, I guarantee Say it, man, how let, let me let me ask you. How did they spray 15 or so people and ain't nobody went to the hospital? Man, talking about they just put a hose over the gate and just started spraying. Man, do you know how you know how fast Somebody would have got on their ass. You know how fast, man, they, hey, fam. But you know what? They know who to mess with and who not. I'm telling you, bullies know. They know their beans from their cornbread. They don't just try that with anybody. They know. They know who to mess with and who not to. Believe that. These people are searching for some type of legal remedies. When they could have got some legal remedies right there on the spot. They could have got it right there on the spot. So according to local laws in NYC, quiet hours range from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m during the weekdays. Failure to abide by these rules can result in hefty fines. So let's say you believe your neighbor is violating the ordinance. What should you do? According to the law, proper protocol is at 10.01 p.m. report a noise complaint by calling 311 or file a complaint online and they will direct your grievance to the appropriate agency. Never take the law into your own hands. But here's the deal. You know, you got certain people out there that belong to a certain demographic who have deputized themselves. Anytime, pretty much when it's somebody that is not white, they become the police. In their mind, they're an extension of the police. So they gonna regulate, you know, and just like the police violate people all the time, they figure they can violate too because this was the weekend. This allegedly happened on a Saturday. But the noise, uh, the quiet hours was posted for the, 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 uh, the week. This is the, the weekday hours. So you know the weekend hours are longer than that. You know, they are later than that. They, you know, you can go a little bit later on the weekends, Fridays and Saturdays, right? So these are people who are self-entitled. They feel like they can do what they want to do. The way I operate when it comes to noise, fam, is like, 
I give grace for my neighbors because my neighbors don't keep up noise all the time. Every now and then the music is a little too loud, but if it gets to a point to where it's just like crazy, then I may, you know, make a move. But other than that, hey, you don't want to hear no noise from your neighbors at all, man. Uh, go, go live in the mountains. Go get you a farm. Go get a ranch or something and live way out where you don't have neighbors for miles. But if you have, you live in the city, you know, you're likely going to have a neighbor that's close enough where you can hear their music if they're having a party. Again, fam, like most of the time, it ain't that big of a deal and it don't last that long anyway. And if you extend grace to your neighbor, your neighbor will extend grace to you normally because they know sometimes they can get a little loud. The best thing to do is when you're having a party is to actually go to your neighbors and tell your neighbors that you're gonna have a party. And hey, you know, wouldn't be a bad idea to invite them over, you know? You, you would be surprised. Those little invites go a long ways, you know? Those little invites and those heads up, hey, I'm having a party. If you get a little loud, if you think it's a little too loud, hey, give me a call and then, you know, I'll turn it down. I'll make sure everything's cool. You know, conversate, you know, have a conversation with your neighbor. Like that particular neighbor, you know, perhaps it would have helped that situation. Perhaps it wouldn't have helped the situation. In any event, they would have opened that water up on me. They would try to hit me with some hoses. Oh, I would have made the ancestors proud. I would have made the ancestors, the ancestors would have been dancing in their graves if they had tried that with me. Cause I would have blacked out. All I would have been thinking about is the 1960s. The German Shepherd and water hoses? Oh, hell no. But what say you fam? Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? <laughs>